world. How you gonna talk that talk to split? You gonna have to walk that walk with hits. It's a cold world outside this brick. For real, light of the world, pop out this lit. How they gonna see if you got tense? You gonna have to stand big dog on tens. Tens, not just five off tens. You fall off a pen, then get back up again. Tense. What up, man? Hey, man, what's good with you? Colin, brother. Getting old, man. I'm already know, shoot. You ain't the only one. <laughs> yeah, bro. But this, uh, this is special for me, man, um, because. I think sitting next to an individual that was there from the start, like you were, uh, when I picked up the camera and you was building your foundation in Hoop in high school, um, us being here today to talk about all of what has transpired, you succeeding in life and going through trials and tribulations is something that I, I value, bro. So I just want to thank you for being here. You are a legend. You are very near and dear to my heart. Um, you are someone that has uh, physically endured something that I'll never forget. You know, um, in high school, and I, I guess we can we can start there, and and kind of go through what exactly transpired in that championship game in the Colonial Life Arena um, when you were playing against who you were playing. I can't even think about who you was playing against. It, it was Ren. Yeah, Brad, talk Brad. about that game and talk about the playoff run, bro. What what what, what happened in that playoff run that led up to that, and then talk about the injury, bro. The whole playoff run was was. Uh, in my opinion, I think it was legendary. Like everybody from that, everybody that was a part of that, as far as like the school, fans, players, coaches, Brad, something legendary happened uh, that whole that whole run, that whole season, honestly. Yeah. Like I remember we'd be in practice and like, well, honestly, before before the season even started, like we we would always say like okay, we can win state, but like it wasn't. We would just play around. For sure. Then it turned into like, oh shoot, like we went a street, like yeah, yeah. We might be able to do this. Especially after we beat Floor. Yeah. I was like, nah, we can we can do this for real. Yeah. But like playoffs started, we, I think we planned about to play like uh North North Myrtle Beach first. Like mm -hmm. they weren't that good. So like we, we ran through them. But then like we played uh Lakewood next. Mm -hmm. And I remember Coach Garrett would like was coming in, like he was in my opinion, I wouldn't say he was he wasn't gassing them, but I yeah, think yeah. he was gassing them. They was good, bro. Come on now. I mean they was good, bro. Come I feel on. like at that point, like we we had our mindset on like one team, like we was, we was concerned with playing like Crestwood again or, or AC Floor again, so mm -hmm. we was already like looking past it. But like Gaither made sure that we stayed level enough, for, like we wouldn't overlook him and be like, bro. Sure. So like he made sure we knew about like a D Tap and like Lil uh -huh. Grant. He was like saying like, bro, they they good. They was cold. They real bro. good. They was cold. So like I remember we went out in that game, and then we ended up, we ended up winning the game. I played pretty well, shoot. And then so we came back, then we had a we played Wilson next. Think well, wasn't who, who wasn't that who we played after. Oh, we play, yeah, we play Jury Next. <laughs> this man forget about We play Jury Next. We play Jury Next. I, bruh, the thing is, though, the thing about playing, we, we play, we, Jury like was our, like our rival, but uh -huh. like, I figured we was already going to win the game. For sure. But we came out that game and like, I was taking it lightly, so I ain't not really think too much. But we came out, I ain't going to say they had like one of the best game plans ever, <laughs> bruh. Like, they was, uh, I think they had, uh, it was boxing one and Clyde, and they, like, I was at the high, they went zone though, but I was yeah. like in the high post, like, if I caught it anywhere inside the arc. Yeah. Like I had two people on me, Jeez. but if I catch it anywhere outside the arc, they like shoot it. Jeez. So I'm like, Shh. my whole mindset messed up that entire game. So we might have won the game by like less than ten. Yeah, that's an eight day. So, but we ended up winning the game. though, pulled it out. I don't know how, but we did for sure. So then we played Wilson. Everybody's saying we're gonna lose to Wilson because they undefeated all that. So I mean, I my team, some of the teammates like, shit, I don't know if we're gonna win this one. And I'm just, I'm just, yeah. I'm locked in. Yeah, I'm locked in. We go out there. It's a uh, and, and hold on, let me let me stop you there. I want you to kind of talk about seeing the video out there, seeing about what they were saying, yeah. things of that nature. Because I was in the locker room and, you know, it felt like Wilson was going to take it all easily, Bruh. too. So talk about nah. that. Uh, shoot. During it, like, but it's funny, like, after, after that game, after watching the video you put together, yeah. I was like, oh, ain't no way they was talking like that. <laughs> nah, ain't no way. They was talking crazy. Thanks. So, like, what happened, how that game went, that, that's how it's supposed to go, the way they was talking. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I played a big part in that game. Yeah. The uh, first half was crazy. We I mean, we went to halftime down. I think Alex, who used to go to LR, he was cooking, and we couldn't do nothing about it. Let's just like shoot, he going off. But then yeah. like second half came out, we refocused. Everybody started off with a new uh like new mentality, and like Daniel Daniel came out. Niggas don't even remember Daniel. <laughs> Daniel Daniel was supposed to be one of the ones, but he had an injury, bro, so it changed sure. everything. Yeah, Daniel yeah. came out, hit a couple threes. I came out here to three, and I got going, shoot, and 
track back going a little bit, and it just worked out a certain way. We ended up winning that game. Yeah. A- Alex ended up fouling out. Yeah. I think I might have had like 24 and like 14 mm-hmm. that game. So after, after that video came out, bro, like we was excited, bro. Like we was like, oh, we ain't nobody, ain't no way. Ain't no way we gonna lose state. Yeah. We thought we were gonna end up playing Ridgeview. Yeah. But then later on, we found us playing Ren. And we like Ren. I ain't never heard of Ren in my life. Yeah, yeah. So then, wait, you were not aware of Trey McGowan's and what they had going nah, up up there? I had never heard of any of them until, yeah. until like until we found out we was playing them, I had never heard of Ren or any of that. Mm-hmm. So then, like, we just, I'm like, oh, we about to be in a colonial life. Like, we finna, we finna get lit. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <laughs> but that, that game started, bro. We might have scored, like, two, two to four points in the first half. <laughs> they went, hey, like, bro, talk about the newspapers. They up here bro, like this. I, I, didn't, even, I didn't even see it until after the game, though. I didn't even see it until after the game. When I saw what they, they did that after the game, yeah, I was yeah. like, shoot, that, they playing with us again. They yeah, supposed yeah. to lose that game. They had to get humble. Had to get humble, bro. But, like, they started the game off, bro, like, we couldn't hit no shots. They we was, we was turning the ball over and they wasn't missing. Mm-hmm. They was hitting everything and then I think Trey uh Trey had like two dunks back to back. Mm-hmm. So like we went to halftime like we we all like we don't we didn't we didn't feel we never felt out of the game. Yeah. Like we like we knew like we still here like in no way like they not better than us at all. So we like we're locker room coach get the hype on us up like we good like we good. But everybody like everybody like kind of like distanced a little bit. But mm-hmm. like we all know that we got to got to step up. So second half come out, shoot, I think I had just, I think I had just started getting added like late in second quarter. So like third quarter, third quarter start, I'm like, all right, I got to like assert myself on all, all facets. Like, yeah. I start hooping, I think I get like a layup, hit like a three pointer, hit another three. So like everything going our way, I think we, at the end of the third quarter, I hit a buzzer beaters and we down mm-hmm. like two or three. So I'm like, shoot, I'm feeling it. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, bro, I'm about to go ahead and like take us home. Yeah, facts. Fourth quarter start, bro. I just run like a little press or something. I go to split, get a screen, go to split, bro. Trey McGowan's trip me up. I go to land, whole elbow come out of place. I'm we, like, we gonna put the clip on there so y'all can see that. Whole dude. elbow come out of place. I'm running off the sideline like whole team like looking at me. They dispersing like it was ugly. Yeah. So like, what transpired after that? I ain't even know what happened till uh, till I saw the video. Yeah. I'm in the hospital. And uh, I had to, I ain't have surgery, but I had to get put to sleep all that. And then. And my parents come in, rushing in, saying, like, y'all won, y'all won. I'm off medication and stuff, so I'm in there ecstatic, bro, like, <laughs> happy. Like, I don't even know. I don't remember who all came into my hospital room that night. You start crying? Bro, crying, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm happy, like, I ain't even, like, yeah. I ain't even know how to feel. But, like, I remember after that, like, you would think, like, you know, it's, it's like a movie, in my opinion. Like, you For think sure. you go to school the next day or something like that, like, everybody, like, it's supposed to be a line, everybody just clapping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not like that at all. Like, everybody, we win, everybody, like. So? I'm not supposed to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to do that. Y'all, like, I got two Division One athletes, and I got a good team. I'm supposed to do that. This LR, like, I'm supposed to do that. So I'm like, cool, cool. But uh, after after watching that video though, like, and seeing how we won that game, and the fact that like Clyde stepped up, like, and just how everybody reacted after we won, like, yeah, bro, I cried again. Like, I felt Sheesh. like so many emotions, bro. Like, I, but because I, I wasn't there. Yeah. And like, so like, I didn't know how it felt to win until I watched that video. Yeah. And it changed, like, yeah, everything. But sheesh, and, and to that point, bro, let's uh let's go back a little bit, right? Because yeah. you you experienced you know trials, um, but you were able to secure a championship. Mm-hmm. But uh you know just a few months prior, you were able to come down to my city, Sumter, and play a, a very important game against <laughs> you know now one Man. of the best point guards in the league, Ja Moran. Yeah. Talk about that experience because you played very well, you matched up very well with Ja. Um, but yeah, just. What was it like guarding him? Um, what did you learn about yourself? Um, what did you learn about your team? And Shoot. ultimately him. We, uh, <clears throat> the thing is, I already knew who, like, Ja was because, like, he was playing for, like, the Ravens, yeah. like, for AAU, like, when we was kids. So, mm-hmm. like, and I didn't really think too much because I'm, like, I heard, like, I knew he was good. I would see those, like, tweets and stuff like that, but I ain't seen him since then. So, I'm, for like, sure. I mean, like, shoot, like, we got, I got, we got me, we got Clyde, yeah, we got yeah. the rest of my team, like, we straight. Y'all straight. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we go out there, he, uh, I think he started to get off, I think he hit, like, a three from deep, and I'm like, mm-hmm. hold up, now, they ain't say he could shoot, though, they ain't say he could shoot. Yeah, yeah. But, like, he got going, it was a good game, like, he got going, I got going, they had a big, uh, Dakota, I think, mm-hmm. he got, he catching lobs, blocking shots, he doing it all, uh, trap hit some shots, but in my opinion, that was, that, that's my brand of basketball. Like, it was fast paced, up and mm-hmm. down, dunks, blocks, threes. Uh, we ended up losing the game, but I feel like I played <laughs> well. Uh, we were supposed to match up with them again, but 
hurricane warning stopped, so we never got to get you that feel message. Like, you feel like that spared him if, and spared Crestwood? What would hap- What would have happened if you guys played again? I ain't going to say spared, but we definitely would have had a bigger chip on our shoulder. Like, cause sure. we like, cause now we actually got, got to see like how they play and what they do. So I feel For like that sure. the game would have been much more, especially in here, the game would have been packed out. Cause it would have been crazy, been bro. Loud. Uh, I feel like it would have been an even better showing if we, we would have got a chance to play that game again. For sure. For but, sure. Yeah, that whole experience, that whole experience was crazy. Like, cause they fans was going crazy too. Facts. And like, <clears throat> that joint was that joint was lit. That's super cool, man. And fast forwarding back, you win the championship, you are hurt. The summer comes, you're ready, and you're you're going off to Campbell. Mm-hmm. Um, what was it like when you first stepped on the the campus in Campbell, and then kind of talk about those years at Campbell, kind of what's tra- transpired there? Uh, to be honest, I remember I had a. Before committing to a school or whatever, uh, we would like have we have coaches come in here and stuff, and uh, I'm in here going hard. Like I'm trying to get all the, all the same offers that everybody else getting because I'm playing against the same people. Yeah. But like they're getting bigger offers than me, and I'm just confused on like how that's happening because I'm playing against these same people and I'm playing better than them. But a lot of politics going and stuff. You know, people already know certain people, so I'm just like, you know what? I got to keep going, keep doing what I'm doing. Don't 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 think about everybody else got going. on. think about what I got going on. For sure. So like. I remember I went on a official visit to A&T before I went on my official to Campbell. And I A&T visit was cool, but I felt like they ain't, they ain't do enough or do enough. But like I had a good time, but so I went to Campbell the next week. Yeah. <laughs> what is what is this? Mean? <laughs> my, my visit was turned. My visit yeah, yeah. was lit. Uh, I had a great time. The coaches showed me a bunch of love. Um, players showed me a bunch of love. They was like they was legit like focused on getting me to that school. Like they, made, they took care of me the whole time I was there from Friday to fri- from my arrival on Friday to the morning I left on Sunday. They was focused, like we gotta get Jacor there. But you no, know, uh, that summer I went there, I'm fresh off my elbow in- injury, but like I'm a kid. So like I, that, that whole thing out the window, like I don't even remember I got hurt. I'm working out hard, trying to get back to where I was at. Uh, I go there that summer. I like to drive to the basket. So the first time we, we get there, we playing pickup. I'm um, hanging out with the guys and stuff like that. Uh, one of my roommates, he was um, me and him. Probably, me and him was real close friends. His name Jordan. Me and him was real close friends while I was there. We did. We pretty much did everything together. Uh, we hanging out pretty much every day. But we play pickup first, like first night we there. Yeah. I'm getting to it during pickup. Bro. Yeah. Getting to. I'm you killing it. Getting to it, bro. But like one thing, I first thing I noticed though was like the strength, like because I'm trying to get to the basket. It was like, different. I'm by somebody, but like they bumping me, and it I'm different. all the way off my line. Like yeah. I'm like oh, sh-. I'm like. I thought I was heavier. Yeah. I was 160 in high school. I was 160 going into college. First two weeks there, I gained 15. I was 185 Sheesh. within two weeks. But that whole Campbell thing, like, I played with um, some good guys. I played with uh, Chris Clemens, led the NCAA in scoring. The he, GOAT. That nigga's good. Yeah, <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Chris, bro. Shout out to Chris. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's good, bro. He, uh, you know how people, like, you go to college, people have like vets, and, like, people, like, mentor them. Yeah. I don't think I had that at Campbell. Sheesh. Like, Chris is on his own. Chris is on his own thing. Like, yeah, everything. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say he thought everything was beneath him, but like, mm. I feel like I ain't had no vet. So like, I was trying to me and me and my homeboy Jordan trying to get it, get it, get it how we get it. Honestly, like, yeah, working out together, just trying to gain minutes freshman year. So um, do you feel like the the visit was low key misleading because they yes. they showed themselves as if they was gonna take care of you, but when you Thought got there, it was like, yeah, all right. Like I don't want to. I don't want to. Bad mouth of score, bad or, or like you keep it a hundred. But like honestly, I feel like that whole little thing was flute. Like my visit was nothing like how the school was at all. Yeah. Like ain't not ain't nothing wrong with the school, but that visit was is not what that school is. Hey, Chad Johnson said something the other day. He was like, when you first meet a person, you don't meet them. You meet their representative. Yes. So you, you met the rep- <laughs> you met the representatives cool, of bro. the individuals. A, Cam was a Cam was a uh, a dry Christian school. So like yeah, ain't no parties going on. Uh huh. Ain't no drinking, ain't no, uh-huh. ain't, ain't nothing, it's nothing around <clears throat> it or nothing. So it's like 10 buildings. Yeah. That's oh, it. I, I've been, bro, yeah. multiple times. My, Dr- homie, my homie Sterling actually went to Campbell. Oh, yeah, I, I met Sterling. Yeah. I met Sterling. yeah. Sterling was cool. I used to play with him at, uh, we used to go to ice, the rec. We used to play like pick up or something mm-hmm. in the rec, like after the season or something. Sterling, Nick. Uh, Parker, Nick Parker. Uh-huh, yeah, Nick, Nick Parker. Nick, yeah. uh-huh. the, um, Nick was cool, but we ain't really... I didn't really do too much at camp. I tried to find find stuff to do at camp, uh-huh. but it wasn't much to do. Like, do you project. think though, in a, in a sense though, you didn't have those fun outlets to? to yeah, go nah. And enjoy I feel like it. 
Did, really. did that help you in any way, or was that a hindrance to your growth? In retrospect. In retro, think about it now. I lucky think it was. I don't even know how to put it for. I don't know if it was a good or bad thing. Cause I mean, mm-hmm. regardless, I'm a freshman. I'm trying to do like. I'm trying to have. I'm trying to be in college. Mm-hmm. Like. I'm hooping, but at the same time, I want to be in college. Like, I want to have the same kind of experience college, that everybody had. Nah. That was like high school <laughs> part two, bro. What is, what is college? Taking classes to get your education, Man, right? I was like, Come it, was on like, now. it cool. might have been like 3,000 people there. Uh-huh. So, it was like, that's the best. I was like, I was at LR again. Like, everything, oh, like, it was a bunch of, like, the drama that went on that campus, on campus, everybody knew about it. If you did something on campus, everybody knew about it. Like, you was in high school again. Okay. But as far as, like, the hoop and go, after everything, my, like, Fast forward, my sophomore year, I was going to leave after my sophomore year. I averaged like eight points, mm-hmm. a couple of rebounds. I shot, I shot from the field pretty well. I was going to leave after my sophomore year. But the coaches, I think the coaches, I, I might have told my teammates, and I don't know who, who, my teammates went back and told them, told the coaches or whatever. So the coaches come in for a meeting, and they're like, I heard you trying to transfer. And I'm like, I how y'all hear about this? I so hear then, about this. Who snitching, man? Come on, dog. <laughs> come on, dog. Come on, dog. The coaches call me in there, they're like, What's up, man? I like, I like we, we got everything you need here. Like, it's going to be your team next year. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I mean, they made everything sound real good. So I'm like, you know what? You ain't learned the first time. Didn't. Didn't learn. Didn't learn. Come on, Jacob. So I'm like, all right, but I'm going I'm to I'm I'm stay, bro. I'm going to stay. So, like, that summer, bro, I had one of the best summers, best off seasons. Like, everything going right. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much the focal point. We bring in, like, a, we bring in this guy named Sid. He played at Arizona now. So, but instead, instead was pretty good. Like, he's, like, the offense we ran was Princeton and Prince. That it be the Princeton style. It's not my type of play style. Yeah, I can't. I can't playing that slow is not for me. Uh, and we was restricted. But did you know that that summer going into your junior year? Or I mean, I knew because we was playing. We had been playing the same style since even before I went there. But I would. They showed me Chris, so I'm watching how Chris play. So I'm like, cool. I can. I'm probably gonna be able to do the same thing when the keys get handed to me. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to do the same thing. But me and Chris don't play the same. Yeah, like Chris shooting half court shots. Facts. That's not my play style. Yeah. But they gave me the keys my junior year going in. I, I'm playing great. I went like a – I started – I pulled my hamstring before our first game. So I was playing against Coastal Carolina. I might have played – I played – I started, but I was hurt still, so I didn't really play that good. But we played UNCW and the Citadel after that. Uh, I won player of the week after those two games. Mm-hmm. Then we went to a tournament at Florida Gulf Coast. I'm like, shoot. I'm finna, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little, little, little rhythm going. Mm-hmm. We play against Georgia Southern. I catch a body. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we end up losing the game, but I catch a body, make Sports Center. Go viral. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And I hoop that game. We lost, but I, I still hoop that game. So I'm like, cool, cool. We play against Florida Gulf Coast next game. They're not good. So I'm like, all right, bro, I'm about to go ahead and eat. We're going to win this game. Five, eight minutes into the game, I roll my ankle like bad. So I sit out. One of my teammates ended up winning, ended up winning Cedric ended up winning player of the week, player of the week. Uh, but I sit out for the next two or three games. I come back against Eastern Carolina. It went East Carolina. I roll my other ankle. Like, Sheesh. <laughs> roll my other ankle. So, like, at this point in time, I'm like, I'm down. Like, my whole mental messed up because I'm like, but it's my year. Like, but I can't stay healthy or stay on the court. I didn't pull my hamstring. I didn't roll my left and my right ankles, like, back to back. So, like, after that, I feel, it felt like a shift, like, in – the way that I feel like the coaches was looking at me or like, not when you say the team, because the team wanted me to get healthy, but like I feel like the coaching staff was looking at me kind of, I don't know. Did, like, did they feel like it, it, it was your fault you weren't taking care of your body or? I have no idea. Like, this might, like, we'll get to that, bro. We'll get, like, it was, me and my head coach never really saw eye to eye, honestly, while I was there, because, I don't know, but me and him never even had a really a relationship, honestly. Like, if I talk to somebody, it'll be more so talk to the guy that recruited me. And... He so was, you, you went in without a good relationship with the head coach, but with someone who recruited you. Who yeah. was the person that recruited you? Uh, he was the he was an assistant. He was, but I was cool with all the assistants. Like they all like we was all cool. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like the head coach didn't have. Well, I, don't, I can't speak for everybody else. I didn't have a good relationship with the head coach. So, so uh, we we play we come back we play against Winthrop. We ran like a one to two press, and within that press, like I'm at the top of the key. I, I'm leading leading the conference in steals. So like people game planning would be like let's limit his transition points and limit his steals. So, like, if we're in that I'm – I'm supposed to be the best defender on the team, so I match up with the best player each game. So, if we in that press and they break the press and I got to match up with the closest man, I'm probably not guarding my man majority of the game. Yeah. But I'm guarding the best player. And, like, in the Big South, the best player on the team probably is averaging, like, 18, 22 points a game. For but sure. they're liable to go off for, like, 30, 40. For sure. So, like, 
they breaking that press. Like, it's, it's, they null and void in the press like crazy. So, like, I'm, I'm not really matched up with my man, but they find a way to, like, my man's like, my matchup is going off, like, three games in a row. So, like, they looking at, they looking at me like, mm -hmm. why you not stopping? I'm like, coach, like, I might guard, I might guard him, like, four positions out the entire game. And he not scoring. I think uh, we played against Hampton and uh, Anthony Morrow. What's that his name? I don't, was it Anthony Morrow? I know his last name Morrow. I don't know, bro. Yeah. It was, that's his name? I believe. Yeah, I believe. Was he, he playing when you was playing, though? This, uh, he an OG. Not Anthony. Nah, his name, it can't he, be Anthony. Yeah, it's not Anthony Morrow. It's, 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 it's his last name Morrow. Tomorrow, I don't know who he's talking about. Though. Short dude. Like, it don't matter. His, his last name Morrow. He ended, up going, he ended up ripping us for like 35. But he scored on me once. I remember he scored on me over. And on the wing, he had a three-pointer. But it was like I had to close out. But... It was my fault he scored 35, though. And I mean, like, I can't be mad because it's my matchup, but I'm not guarding him all game. So you're telling you, – this is what you're telling me. You're telling me your coaches didn't have the intellect or the eyesight to be able to see that. Apparently not. You weren't the person that was responsible for – Literally. I'm deep, bro. I'm even my teammates like, bro, you're not really guarding him the whole time. I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm, we, and we, I'm at the top of the press, and I got to match up the closest man. Yeah. And, my, and my matchup in the corner already, I got to match up dude, dude right here. So I'm supposed to guard yeah. him too. So what transpired after that? Bro, how, I, did, how did that make the coach see you? Bro, like I wasn't trying hard enough, or like I wasn't doing enough for the team. Like, it's, bro, then we played against up, we played against Upstate, and I'm guarding Tommy. Tommy scored on me once the whole first half, but for some reason we go zone second second uh second half, and Tommy, Tommy and one other one of his player they both erupt from deep like going crazy. So we 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 up by like 15 going in the half. We end mm -hmm. up losing the game by like 20. So like I'm in the locker room, bro. I'm you pissed tight, bro. So I'm yeah. in there talking like crazy. I guess I don't know if the coaches overheard it or something like that, but I know ne next practice is when everything went downhill. Uh, me in practice, and I, I remember I come off a ball screen, shoot a pull up. Coach kicked me out of practice during the scrimmage. I'm like, all right, put me, bring me back into practice. I do the same thing. I come off. It's like not. It's like a maybe like five on the shot clock. Come off. I hit somebody else for a shot. They miss. We get back on defense. I, I go under a ball screen because that's our scheme. Dude stop behind, hit a three pointer. He kicks me out of practice again. Like start. Cussing me out. I'm just confused, like, what you want me to do? Like, so like in the practice, Huddle come in, he said, we gonna he's like, regardless, we're gonna we gonna win games without, without our best player. And I'm like, apparently I apparently I must be because the way stuff started going, I'm, apparently he was talking about me. Next game, right before we play Winthrop, he comes to me, he comes to me on the side right before we go on the bus to go to go play the game. He's like, we're gonna start such and such over you tonight. I'm like, what? Like, for what? I don't, I, mean, I don't ask these questions, but I'm just, you know, like, hey, cool. Like, cause this, at this point, all my mind's already messed up. Yeah. Because I'm already thinking, like, bro, like, I can't get it right. It's hard, no, no matter how hard I'm trying. How did, how did that, take me to that mental. How did, how did that make you feel, for real, for real, as a, as a person? Did it, did it feel like you were less of a value and asset as yeah. an individual because you put your identity into who? Yeah, or, like, or? basketball is, basketball is <clears throat> what I do. It's been doing, it's what I've been doing since I've been six. So, like. For somebody just to shut me out and like not play me just because I still to this day do not know the reason. I still not to this day I do not know the reason. But for him to shut me out like that, it hurt because it's like in my mind, in my mind, I'm just like, what can I do? Like, I'm trying my hardest, I'm correcting stuff, but I'm still not playing. For and for the rest of that season, bro, I like I'm not playing. Like I'm averaging 11 points at this time. The rest, they, he'll put me in for two minutes, take me back out. So season end, I'm averaging I'm averaging seven points. So, my mind is messed up, bro. I'm just. How did you handle that? What What were the things that you did to kind of stay afloat, or or was it moments where it felt like you were below water and you yeah. couldn't necessarily breathe? Yeah, certain certain times it felt like I ain't, I ain't have nowhere to go. Like, I feel like I, like I said, basketball is what I do. So like, if I ain't playing basketball, it's just like. What What am I worth right now? Yeah. Like, yeah. especially since like I'm not I'm like I'm not hooping. Just for me, I'm hooping for everybody at home because, like, I know, I know everybody watching me. I know they're trying to see, trying, I know they want to see me do well. So, yeah. when they're watching, they, they watching the games and see I'm not playing, they're probably like, man, why's your core not playing? Yeah. So, and I'm talking to my parents through, through this, and they just, they confused too. But I, I don't know what to tell them. Yeah. So, oh, I, I skipped the part. I ain't played the rest of the season, but like, I, can't, I went to go meet with the coach after, like, the, my third game not playing, and yeah. he was like, I'm surprised it took you this long to come have a meet with me. I'm like, so he was playing mind games with literally you. playing mind games. And then the coach that recruited me that I was close to, he didn't talk to me almost the rest of the entire season. So I knew what time it was. I go to have my end of the season meeting and like he's giving me like a what they call it, a, um, a compliment sandwich. 
he hit me with like some good stuff. Matter of fact, I don't even call it. He gave me a bunch of good stuff. Then he was just like, I don't think I'm to play here next year. I was like, you for real, like, bro, I can't like, I'm a junior. I can't like stay like and show you like I'm 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 that. So you were still trying to go yeah, like, another I'm a, year with this. Yeah, bro, because it bro, what I had put into that program, bro, I never came home. I was there, I was there every summer. Like I was losing friends because I wasn't coming home. I was losing out on relationships with family because I was not coming home. I put everything I had into that program, bro. I was giving, I was playing hard, like, like I would come up for two weeks, bro, and go right back to school, and I'd be there from there until school ended again. And let, until oh, Christmas break, I'd go home for like a couple days, but I'd come right back. Yeah. So like, I'm like, coach, like, I didn't give it my all. Like, I'm here every summer, going hard, showing y'all, like, I want this. He was like, bro, I don't think he'll play here next year. I think I don't think he's like, what he said to me, bro. He said something about like uh bro, he said something disrespectful, bro. I can't remember what it was, but like meant this, but like I had to leave out of the room. I walked out of the room. I was I said something to him when I left. I was like, bro, we can continue this conversation another time. COVID hit. So I come home when we're like, we we talking to him like two times. The last time we were on the phone, I know we're not seeing eye to eye. So I start feeding him because I I the type of guy I am, I'm, I'm, I'm level, I'm chill. Like, I ain't trying to get into no confrontation or, like, no altercation unless I have to or yeah. unless I just go over the top. At this point, I'm over the top. So I start, like, going at him, like, bro, like, you could have did this, you could have did that, you could have did that. And looking back at it, I shouldn't have did it. I should have just been like. For sure. For sure. You're like, you're right. You got it, bro. You got it. Like, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll do what I got to do. So all in all, I go. I put my name in the transfer portal. Late. <laughs> Late because he stringing me along. Like, instead of just being like, nah, do that. So he strained so me along pretty much. I go and try to put a late, bro. So Dang, like, bro. I get some interest from like a couple D1s, but nobody know how, co- how COVID going how COVID gonna go. So I'm supposed to be going to like UC Irvine, UC Riverside. Yeah. Sam Houston State hit me up and uh-huh. a couple other D1s. But they all like, uh, we don't know how COVID gonna go and we don't wanna pay for two years and only get one year out of you. Yeah. But the crazy part about it is when the rule came out, they gave a COVID year. So it would, I could have went there, but I ended up going uh, D2. Mm-hmm. I ain't tell nobody what I had going on. Nobody knew I trained. No, everybody, knew I, everybody knew I put my name in the portal because I posted it. Mm-hmm. But nobody knew where I was going. Nobody hit me up to ask. Only people that I knew was my people that was in my circle. Nobody hit me up to ask what's going on with me or nothing. Nobody checking on me or nothing. I'm just like. How did that make you feel, bro? It's like, you no, know, people don't. People say they say one thing, and they, but they show another. Like, Yeah. Only certain people really care. I honestly really care about you. Some people care about like. They just want to stay close to see what you turn out turn out to be, or what you can what you can turn out to be to do for them. So, people that you wanted to support you, what are some of the things they could have done to to show love to you or support to you in that season? Bro, they could have just hit me up. Yeah, like I don't take I don't take a lot, bro. You can just be like, "What's up? You good?" And that's, that's I'm I'm cool with that because you at least at least you're reaching out. Yeah, because I ain't I ain't the most emotional dude. Like most people sound like laid back, but. Yeah. Just like for nobody to hit me up besides like two people, I'm like, dang. Yeah. So you niggas really don't rock with me for real. But I mean, all in all, bro, I ended up going D2 to yeah. MIAA. It's like one of the top conferences in, uh, in Division II basketball. But I'm like, I come from D1. Yeah. I'm like, it's going to be sweet. I get COVID maybe like the first couple of weeks out there. So I'm, side- I'm sidelined for like two weeks and I come back to play, but I got to go get a checkup before I can like check my- do my heart and stuff like that. Doctor telling me, like, nah, you got to wear a heart monitor for, like, a month. Huh? Yeah. I had to wear hold, a- on, hold on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, huh? I had to wear a heart monitor for a month straight, bro. It's just so they can, like, make sure, like, I'm okay to play basketball. Like, they make it, they, they try to say, like, one of my valves was cut off or something like that. But, like, the whole time I had COVID, well, not while I had COVID, but, like, after post-COVID, I would go play pickup or something like that. Like, before that, before I got clear, I was playing pickup or something. Yeah. And nothing's wrong, but like steadily, the doctor like, nah, he can't do nothing for a month. So like, bro, I missed the whole preseason. <laughs> I didn't, LeBron didn't went back to like 170. My whole, bro, I'm, I lost my athleticism. Like I ain't as bouncy no more. Like, yeah, all, the whole time while I ain't really talking to nobody, and I didn't drop down a whole level. So my mind is like, total. Like I don't know. Like I'm lost. Yeah, I feel like completely lost, bro. Like I'm doing stuff I ain't supposed to be doing. Like. I'm like, ain't no way this how I'm living right now, bro. <laughs> yeah. But you but I will say UCM, Central Missouri, they they show me what college is supposed to be and how a coach staff supposed to like 
care about you and show love to you and like yeah. really want you. They they really wanted me wanted to see me do well. Like they stayed on me even even when I was doing everything I was supposed to do. They were like, bro, go ahead, like take it up another notch. Yeah. And I'd be like, I ain't doing that. And they'd be like, bro, why not? Yeah. I I sit there and think, I'd be like, all right, bro, you're right. So scratch the the first year there was a wash. Like I'm like I'm out of shape. I'm I done lost weight. Like yeah. the team out the team we got is it's a COVID year. Like everybody on the team is like it's pretty much it's on the same thing I'm on. Like, everybody lost. Like yeah. So that whole year a wash, bro. One of the worst years I've ever had. Like mentally, physically, basketball was ever, ever. But towards the end of the season, we got two games, two games left. And coach talking about making like cuts, like because he's like, man, we gotta go get a whole new team in. And call come in from me, and he like, man, I don't know, bro. So I'm like. God, dog. You like, don't bro. know. <laughs> I'm like, what you mean you don't know, bro? Like, I'm definitely like top three in scoring on the team. Yeah. And just, despite I ain't worked out or nothing, cause I'm, I'm I've been messed up. Yeah. So like messed up in what way, man? Bro, like I was, <laughs> bro, I would, get, I would, bro, I would wake up. I wasn't going to no class or nothing. What? No class. I mean, my grades are straight, but I wasn't going to no class. I was, bro, I was, I was barely working out. Bro, I'm going to practice. I'm coming home and I'm just sitting there watching TV, bro. Just like in my head, like, I'm like what, what am I doing, bro? Because like we losing all season. Yeah. I'm like, bro, this is this is not how it's supposed to go. I'm, I came from a D1 to a D2, bro. I'm supposed to be like 40, 40, 40. Yeah. But the conference ain't no slouches though. Like it's everybody in that conference is either like people that got overlooked that's supposed to go D1 or D1 transfers just like me. So like. So it's really he's playing against a bunch of high level talent. Yeah, literally. Like it's a guy. It's a guy, and that was in that conference night. Now he plays for the Houston. He plays for Houston. Trevor Hudgens. I mean, he's, in my opinion, he's solid. Like, yeah. He, he can shoot, bro. He left-handed. But that next season, like, in the last two games, better than the last two games, he te- co- coach tell me that. I'm like, all right, bet. Next game, I come out, I drop. Like, I had, like, 21 and 12. I'm like, bro, I, ain't, I, can't, I can't go home. Facts. I, got, I, I can't go home, bro. Facts. I got to get my degree. And I ain't finna have nobody look at me like, dang, bro, you went to college and you ain't do nothing? Like, like I, didn't, I know too many things like that. I can't, couldn't have been what, I had, what happened to me. So, coach renewed my scholarship. I'm like, bet. This, this is my last year of college basketball, bro. I want to go play pro. I want, I want to show, I want to show everybody, but I want to show myself the most. Like I can do this. Yeah. So like that whole summer, I come home. I'm locked in with uh, I, I, I'm locked in with Christian, mm-hmm. and I'm locked in with James. Mm-hmm. Me and Christian working out in the morning. Mm-hmm. Me and, and I'm working out with James at night. So like, bro, I'm, it's like an everyday thing. And then even even when I like my sister was playing AU and I wanted to catch her last AU run. So even when that's going on, I'm going to her uh, AU tournaments. But I'm finding a gym while I'm out of town. Like I'm in Pennsylvania, for sure, Charlotte. Uh, we went to a couple of places. I'm making sure I'm going to a gym, bro, regardless of what's going on. I'm going to work out, bro. It's so like, this might be my first time where I legit bought in and was like, bro, I'm going to work out and I'm going to push myself to a whole nother standard, bro. Like, I'm going to hold myself to a whole nother standard. And, bro, that next year came around, bro, I could, I could tell, like, my game elevated. Yeah. I started, that season started off, bro, it started off kind of slow. Like, I was, I was playing solid, but I went where I wanted to be. And then it was like one game we played against uh, Northeast. They won like three three natties in a row, and that's team Trevor Hudson was on. We lost we lost it in bad, but like the way the game went, the way I was playing, I was like, all right, I'm about to go on like a little run. The next ten games, bro, double doubles, and like, and I'm not saying about like no double doubles. Like it take me like the whole forty minutes. I'm talking about I'm getting done in the first half, Jeez. like seventeen to ten first half, like. I'm just cooking, bro. Like I don't know how to say. It. I set goals for myself before the season started, and it just worked out to where. I did that. What was the difference, though? Because you, you go through a, a period last year at Campbell, you know, coach bench you, mental screwed up. Then you get to first year at this D2 school, mental screwed up. What was the switch? Type of guy I am, bro. Everybody that know me, bro, I'm a, I, I try and have a positive outlook on everything. Even yeah. if I'm going through something, bro, I try and force myself to be like, bro, it's going to work out, bro. It's like, just just do your part, and everything's going to work itself out. For sure. Then I was, I was praying more, too, so... That that filled all like my that removed all my doubt and stuff like that. So how that went, um, I said I told myself I was gonna win defensive player of the year before the year started. But then once I was hooping, bro, I forgot about all that. And then but it turned out at the end of the season I won defensive player of the year. And like that was just a total. That was just a, like a, a uh, I wanted to kind of like because I don't know how to word this. Like coaches at Campbell, <laughs> there was only about how I couldn't play defense and stuff like that. So like, I bet <laughs> I go win defensive player of the year. Yeah, yeah. To prove them wrong. There you go, right there. I'm, I'm look and, and I'm looking at the highlights, bro, and, and the amount of in the gap steals, on ball steals, no, the like, amount of aggression and hustle, 
it, it 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 literally looked like you had a, a, a vindication against somebody or something or right. like it, it looked like it was a different level of motivation, bro. I was playing with a whole kind of different chip on my shoulder, bro. Like yeah, survival was, for it. I was trying to let people know, like I don't care. Like I mean, I'm on my way to Missouri, so like it's yeah. just me out there. So I'm I don't I'm, whoever I'm playing against, like I'm talking crazy to them, like because I I was I was I was trying to find like a something that's to push me during the game, so just so I can like be like okay, bet I'm on that then. So. I was putting a whole nother chip on my shoulder, bro. And then, like, coaches would game plan and be like, bro, don't go to his side. Yeah. You go to his side, bro, back door, because I'm going to get that steal. Because I want it, bro. I want it, and I want to go dunk this ball, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, but now, I, bro, honestly, the way they even worked out, like, though, bro, because it's my coaches. Like, my coaches, like, would have meetings with me and be like, hey, man, we need you to do this, do that, do that. I'm like, all right, coach, I, I'm going to get it done, bro. Because I got to. Yeah. I want to go play pro. I want to go play pro from a D2. Yeah. So, like, I mean, I got to do. I gotta go. I gotta go above and beyond, even trying to even get looked at from for an sure. agent or something like that. But the way that season worked out, bro, like at, right after we lost in the uh, playoffs, I had an agent like within the first week, like he hit me up and like, bro, we can we can help you. I'm like, that's a blessing, bro. Yeah, bro, I was so thankful, bro. Like I was praying, like I was praying every night. Like yeah. I ain't never that my whole. I, I look back at it, that whole situation that happened at Campbell was good for me. Uh huh. Cause it showed it. it showed me like. They helped me mature. Yeah. They grew me up. Like, I, I went from somebody who, like, wouldn't work out. I did work out, but like, I, everybody can work out more, like, of course. For sure. You did, you did the bare minimum of, yeah. of what it took to be good. Yeah. She wasn't doing what it took to be, be great. Great, facts. So, like, it showed, me that, it showed me what I needed to do to be mature, like, as far as the way I treated people, the way I... Mm. Hold on, hold on. The way you treated people. Yeah. Like, I treat you. <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> you was one of them cocky uh, nah, nah, basketball nah. players, bro. I wouldn't say I was a cocky basketball player, but I wasn't. Like I said, I'm not finna. I ain't finna just look at you and be like, oh, I'm better than you. I ain't never been that type of guy. Like, okay. I'm like. But what was it, though? How mm-hmm. did you improve in treating people better? What, what was the thing? I just found I would just be nicer. Like, okay. But a lot of people say I'm a ho. Oh, but, okay. I mean, I wouldn't disagree with them because I mean, I just that's just my that's just who I am. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? That's just that's who, who I, I am. am. Like, just the way I the way I talk. Like, I don't hold nothing back. Like, uh-huh. I'm gonna be straightforward with you. Like, so I'm gonna self keep control it. is void from Jacor Nelson. That's what you saying? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so what you saying? What you saying? I bro? got self control. What, what you saying? Dog? Oh, okay, and I was I gr- I gained more self control. Okay, I gained more self control. There we go. Yeah. I definitely grew. I've definitely grown. But okay. the funny thing is though, like, story don't just stop there though. Like. After that season, I got I my agent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got my agent. Then I'm like working out each dining guy. Uh, my, one of my coaches named Cody. He was a uh, worked at Texas and like he like a player de- player development whatever. So I'm working out with him. But the way I'm, my, I'm like right to get my shot right. I'm waking up at 6 a.m. I'm shooting. I'm shooting making 500 uh 500 shots in the morning, 500 shots at night. So I'm waking up in the morning, going to do that. After that, I'm working out with Cody, going back chilling, coming back to play pickup. After that, I'm chilling again, then I'm going back to the gym at night and I'm working out again, bro. This three was, days. This three, bro, this was Monday through Friday. Every day, because I'm like, bro, I got to be ready when I go play pro. Yeah. Because I know I'm, I'm about to be playing the one, so I got to be ready. Bro, like a month go by, best I ever felt in my life. I'm like, bro, at this point, bro, I'm going to go do one year over there, bro, and I'm going to the league. And I'm not, not, not gassing this. Yeah, yeah, I'm being dead That's serious. how you was feeling, for I was real. Dead serious, bro. I'm, I'm going to pick up against my old teammates. Bro, I'm in pickup, like, it's me. Uh, somebody who who rolled the bench and like the recruits, we going in there like eight and zero. I'm not missing no shots, and you can you can go call you can call my teammates from uh from where I was at, bro. There was I would be certain it would be certain times in pickup, bro. I'm not missing no shots. It's I, like yo. I'm not driving to the basket either. I'm shooting threes. So it's like yo, he acting totally bro, different, dog. <laughs> like, he bro. ain't never shoot <laughs> like this. <laughs> one of my now team, he got a clip. One of my teammates was like uh was like um. Shoot, the parents probably in here like, how they lose a the game? They got LeBron James on their team. I'm like, yeah, bro, that's just the way I was feeling, bro. I was putting too much time in, bro. It's just like, was your old coach around at any point yeah. during the scrimmages? <laughs> yeah, he was in there. He just how like, did that feel? He was like, hey, man, you look good. Like, but they not about to gas me. You know? They just about to be like, you look good, man. <laughs> they don't want to tell yeah, you. Yeah, you probably do a little better. You probably get to go work on this work on that. Like, cool, I right, go do that then, <laughs> bro. The craziest, bro. <laughs> a week go by, bro. I'm like, cool. it's like right before graduation. Like, this happened a week before my birthday. I go to play pickup. I mean, transition from a half court. Dude run in front of me, I go to go behind the back. Knee buckle, I fall. All I hear, all I hear is a pop. I'm like, nah, ain't no way, bro. I just, bro, I'm tight. I get out, I walk, I just walk. I, luckily, I get up and walk off the court, but like, I know something ain't right. 
I'm sitting there. I called the athletic trainer. I'm like, bro, I'm upstairs. Like, come look, come like, come, come look at my knee. She's like, she, but she can't tell because it's like, I need to go get an MRI. But like, I know something ain't right though. Cause I, uh, that same day, I go home, I sit, and I uh, go hang on my, go hang on my teammates or something at a crib. And I'm like, my knee cool. I woke up that next morning, or my knee hit like a thigh. And I told, sent it to my trainer. My trainer was like, oh, that's not good. So I go get this MRI. I'm like, I'm praying like it's just like a sprain or like a bone bruise or something, bro. Like something that, something that'll be done like within three weeks, three, four weeks, something like that. <laughs> nah. Nah, I go get my MRI, bro. They're like, dog, you partially tore your ACL, your MCL, and you got a bone bruise. So I'm like, bro, I'm balling. Like, I'm in the car, bro. I call my mama, text my dad. And I had a girl at the time, so I called her too. Like, I'm crying to all them, like, this, this ain't fair, bro. Like, it ain't right. Like, every time, every time in my life I feel like I'm about to take the next step, I hurt something. And it ain't like I get no regular injury. I'm messing something up bad, bro. So, like, that whole summer, bro, after I hurt my, hurt my knee, bro, especially since I'm supposed to be going to play pro, I'm, that's just, I'm, I'm really messed up now because I'm like, bro, my future is in jeopardy. Like, because if I can't play basketball, what am I going to do? And you can, uh, my friends, I, I'm talking to uh, Christian. We on the game and stuff. He can vouch for me, bro. I'm in there like hurt, like sad, like every day because I can't go work out. Yeah. And like I said, like, like I said, I ain't, nobody knew I was hurt either. Like everybody just thought I can't, nobody, they knew I was home, but they ain't know like I wasn't working out or nothing like that. Everybody just thought like, oh, here's your core. Like he got, he got his stuff together. Everybody look at me and think I already got my life planned out and got everything together when that's not been the case. Because I a lot of behind the scenes stuff going on. Like, I got a lot going on, bro. As far as like personally, there like, ain't no outside stuff going. On. Everything that everything that's going on with me, bro, is personal. Just cause my my mental and stuff like that. Yeah. But nobody hit me up to come work out. Nobody hit me up to come play pickup. Like, of course I can't go do it. But it's just the fact nobody doing it. Yeah. So that hurt. But I get a my agent. I get a, I luckily get a job. But I ain't worked out all summer. Yeah. So they let me know I got a job or I got a contract or whatever. So I signed and I'm like, cool, I'll be, I should be straight by then. I ain't, you can, Luke, Luke over there. You guys, Luke, I was coming to them, I was coming to them workouts, bro. He saw I was messed up coming to them workouts. <laughs> bro, like, I'm limping. I ain't able to, like, I, this, this, is a, this is like, I ain't start trying to work out against him like a week before I left. And I couldn't move at all. So did you go? I went. Cause I'm like, bro, this. It's all or nothing right here, bro. Like, if I don't go now, bro, I probably won't get another shot. Yeah. So I go over there, bro. First day there. I th- I'm thinking I'm going to get, I'm going to think I'm going to, I think I'm going to be able to fly in, get a day to rest, and like, maybe I'll work out a couple days, then, nah. First day there, bro, I'm in practice. Right, first thing we do is, king, is uh, ones, king of the court. My, bro, I have no confidence. <laughs> I have no confidence at all. Yeah. So, like. Bro, it was bad. Like, I was still getting by just because I'm, I don't even know how to explain this, bro. It was bad, bro. I was get, I, I think I might have just getting by just because I know how to hoop. So, like, I ain't moving. I'm not moving fast. I'm just playing at a real weird pace. Like With high IQ. With high IQ, bro. I'm scoring, but, like, it's real ugly. So, like, my coach is like, you okay? Like, you good? Like, why you limping? I'm like, no, that's straight, coach. I think I'm just, I might just be, like, out of shape or something. Like, I'm trying to sell it. <laughs> I'm trying to sell it. Like, I'm, I can't get sent home, bro. Yeah. No, I can't get sent home. So, like. Whole time I'm over there, bro, I'm just like, I ain't really talking to nobody besides like my inner circle. I ain't, I'm just talking to them. They know what I got going on. I'm talking to my parents and stuff. I mean, I'm, and I'm praying consistently every day because I'm like, bro, you went, I, you, this opportunity wouldn't have presented itself if you didn't have something in plan and, and, and set in stone for me already. For sure. So I'm praying every day, bro. I, this, this is the closest I've ever been to God in my life. Yeah. So like, I'm just getting up every day and just walking out, walking out on faith. Yeah. Going to practice. And then eventually, shoot, I got rolling. Like my like my leg is little. I might yeah. not have as much bounce, but I'm I'm getting going. Like yeah. another, uh, another one of my teammates, his name uh, Tyree Crump went to Georgia. He got his own little story, but like he's sitting there trying to get get my help me get my confidence back too. Like he he hyped me up. I'm like, shout out to you, man. Shout yeah, out, shout out to you, bro. Like me and him, me and him got close while I was over there. Yeah, yeah. Like, he cool. He nice too. But he trying to help me get my confidence back, bro. He's just like, bro, just go, like. On the way it's gonna work, bro, is if you just go and try and do it. I'm like, bet. So like, I'm working. I, we stay above the gym. So like, 24 axes, but we stay above the gym, bro. It's three rooms upstairs, and it's one bathroom, and that's how we living. But I'm in the gym almost every night, like, bro. I gotta get in shape. Yeah. 
Vince not getting in shape, and I'm hooping. Like I'm, on, I'm, a, I'm at, I'm at now. Like first game, I think uh, this, this is this is off of like no pre, no preseason. Yeah, I ain't worked out all summer. Like I'm just winging it, bro. I just, I'm just hooping because I just know how to hoop. First game I have uh, 1988. That game that won me MVP of the game or whatever. Uh, next game, oh shoot! After that game, should we had practice, bro? I went in for a layup. I came down. My knee went behind me like this, bro. So I sprained my, <laughs> I sprained my meniscus. But Sheesh. that's just based off I'm not healthy. I'm not, I'm not healthy. Like yeah, I ain't yeah. worked out on that. So like I sit out the next game, come back play against the best team in the league. I had like a solid game, but that game was my, my, my I'm not, I'm, I'm more worried about my legs. So For I sure. ended up having like 14. But like I didn't play a game after that, but I played a game after that. And that game, I got busy. Because I'm like, bro, like, I'm praying. I'm praying. So, like, I'm just yeah. like, all doubts go out the window. I'm like, bro, I just got to hoop. I ended up giving that team 23, 7 and 7, Jeez. just hooping. Like, ooh, I'm like, bro, bet. I'm, a, I'm like, it's going to get real bad. Because, like, my bounce starting to come back a little bit, too. Yeah. Two days after that game. No, even before that game, my, the coaching staff got switched out. Whole new management. So, I'm like, okay. Coach bring me in the uh, office or whatever. He's like, I didn't bring none of y'all here. So, like, y'all gonna have to do is like do this, do that, do that. I'm like, hey, cool, I'm just gonna go out there and hoop. So after that, after I had that 20, that, 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 that best game I'd had over there, two days after that, I get called upstairs to the management's office. They all sitting in there. They like, uh, we're gonna have to let you go. I'm in there like, bro, what? Like, I'm I just like, I'm averaging like 19 right now, bro. Like, yeah. what's the what's the deal? He like, uh, we need to bring in a point guard. I'm like, Okay, bro. Like, I ain't, I, I didn't even trip in the meeting. I just was like, you know what, business is business, bro. Like, yeah. I'm praying. God got me, bro. Like, y'all, he, everything gonna work, work, work out the way it's supposed to work out. For sure. So, shoot, I came back home. I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm gonna have a job in like, a, like a month or less. Still ain't, I still ain't get one. So, like, my agent said I'm gonna have one soon. I ain't have one. Stan team's hitting up, but they ain't ever, they ain't coming through or nothing. Yeah. So, I'm just like, what is it? I got the numbers. I got the film. Yeah. So, but I ain't tripping nothing like that. I've been praying, and you know, I've been getting healthy, and I'm not gonna lie. It's yeah. Finna be scary again. Like for sure. Bounce coming back. Shot better. Handles better. For sure. So shoot. At this point in time, bro, that the adult I am now. For sure. I done matured enough to be like, <clears throat> do what you got to do, and it's gonna work out, bro. It's gonna work out. It's definitely gonna work out, bro. And I can tell you right now verbatim that this isn't a situation based on ability. It's a situation to refine you though. Like yeah. so that when you do get another opportunity, you are rooted in God in such a way to where if it do get taken away or if you do get hit with another trial, there won't be any doubt. Be ready you know for what it. I'm saying? There won't be any trepidation or any confusion because you know who got you. And I believe wholeheartedly your opportunity gonna come, bro. It's just a matter of using this time now to Anchor, lock in, get deeper, grow, right. grow in a in a way, and, and and trust him in a way you never trusted in your life, bro. So you got it, bro. The way it worked out though, like <laughs> my mom would always say, like she know her son. Yeah. So like whenever, whenever like I think I got something lit, like, I got some. She would always whenever I think I got something lit, that's when it come back to bite me. Yeah. So like whenever, I, every, whenever I think things getting good, like back in the day, I'd be like, okay, I can chill now. Yeah. I got, I got it figured out. Yeah. But then again, I wouldn't ever figure it out. And I think this whole like little past year or whatever been the hardest year of my life, I feel like. Yeah. It showed me like, bro, like no matter what's going on, whenever you think you got something figured out, bro, something can happen to tear you all the way back down. So you got to stay on top of your stuff. Yeah. Because if you're not, you're going to fall all the way down to zero and you'll never want to fall down to zero. Yeah. If you're going to fall, fall to 50. <laughs> fall, <laughs> fall, fall to 50, bro. Don't fall all the way down to zero, For bro. For sure. For sure, bro. And I'm proud of you, bro. Just... Choose humility, bro, because that pride, bro, God opposes pri prideful people. So every time you get prideful, he's going to have to teach you a lesson to bring you back down. Yeah. So if you stay humble, stay level, he give favor to the humble. So That's, always, shoot, that's, that's one thing I had to work on. Yeah, bro. People that say I'm, I remember when I was young, people that say I'm, I, I move around a certain way, but I never thought that because I feel like I was humble, but I guess I wasn't. Yeah. But... Certain things are humble, and I feel like I didn't have my humbling experience. So like, even when I, yeah. even when I talk to people now, like they be like, you feel like you sound like you matured. Yeah, you have. Man, you have, man. I hope so. <laughs> I hope I keep it up. Well, we shall see, man. Um, 
you've shared a lot of your story. I feel like this is going to impact those that it needs to and people that are struggling or dealing with. Keep going. Similar situations. Keep going. Don't never there, stop, bro. Is there anything else you want to say to anybody watching, bro, any audience member that you feel like they need to hear? Mm. If you're watching this right now, bro, no matter what you're going through, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter, no matter what people trying to tell you, trying to bring you down, trying to boost you up, bro, stay level, stay connected with God. He come first. With him, bro, everything possible. Not any, everything possible with God. And keep going. <laughs> keep going. Foot on the gas, bro. That's it. Don't take it off. <laughs> Matthew 6 and 33, man. Seek first the kingdom. He'll add everything. So I love you, bro. I'm proud of you. Appreciate I it. I can't wait to see you succeed in the level that uh, you haven't succeeded before. So. Oh, it's on the way. It's on the way, bro. It's on the way. <laughs> it's on the way. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching the entire podcast. Salute to you. If you can, like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, you doing all of those things will push the video up the algorithm. It will tell YouTube that this video is something that they should push out. Um, and with that, that will increase you know, our ability to produce content at a higher scale. So if you like that, uh, that last episode, you liking, you commenting, you, you subscribing will literally be the key driving force that will help us continue to create content at a high level. Um, so be a part of the success, be a part of the family. And uh, yeah, we just appreciate you in advance for doing that. So without further ado, I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of the podcast or the previous episode of the podcast. If you haven't seen the other ones, go ahead and click that as well. Peace and blessings. I ain't gotta keep it on 10. 10. How you gonna talk that talk to split? You gonna have to walk that walk with hits. It's a cold world outside, it's brick.